So welcome to how to repair an accordion. And the main problem with this accordion is that it was dropped in shipping. It was being shipped and all of the buttons, I don't know if you can see that on the video, that all the buttons are at irregular places. Some are already bent in. Uh, they should all be proud. One com seems to be completely missing there. Um, so we need to see if we can sort this out. First things first, we're going to take this bit off, uh, mainly because it's as we dismantle it, there's little things like that. It's got the wrong screws here. These are not the original screws. I suspect that that screw is the original screw. It's like a, a domed head black screw. These are just ordinary wood screws, really. Uh, so we'll take that off first and see what we got. So, none of those screws fitted very well. That, that bit's a bit broken there. Looks fine on the, the back, which is made of aluminium, but I think that needs to be that bit there. I think that bit there needs to be glued down and repaired uh, so that it's in a reasonable condition. Screws definitely need replacing. None of them seem to fit properly. Um, so when we have a look at the actual, uh, this is why, because the where the screws mount, it's been split. Now that could have happened a long time ago, or it might have happened when the accordion was dropped in transit. What we will do is we will glue, with wood glue, these back into position. Uh, and put them under pressure and then we'll see what happens now. I think we'll fill that one first as well. So we'll fill the holes back in, um, put these splits, glue all these splits back together uh, and then we'll take it from there. The actual the rest of the pads look in fairly good condition actually. Some of the keys are slightly proud but that's due to its age. It's probably about 100 years old this accordion. Uh, so it's looking pretty good so far. Let's have a look at the other end. Now the way that we dismantle the bottom half of this um, is that these these are just pins, and these pins pull out. There's been four of them. This one's actually got some of the pins here. Those ones I don't think, I think they're for the base coupler switch, but these four pins, will be two around the other side, should allow us to pull this bottom section away from the rest of the accordion. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Cutters. And there we go. And there's the pin, first pin, just a little bit, little metal pin. Try the same on the other side. Number two, so I'll turn it over into its now on the back. We've actually got three pins, so we've got one there, one in the middle, and one there. Um, 
do this bit now, I should be able to just pull maybe the screwdriver to slide it along. I might be able to just pull this bottom section away and have a look at what the situation is underneath. Oh yes. Okay. So let's move this out of the way first. We don't need that section for a while. And let's have a close look at what's happened here. So, when the shipper dropped it, all of the reeds clearly came out. So, luckily some of them stayed in. And if we look there, there's a couple there. One's further up, there's one missing there. With these reed blocks, you can just literally turn them there and be able to pull them out. I won't because it's connected to there at the moment, but we'll leave it where it is. But, but uh, they do come out. So we've got quite a bit of work to do. Now these were, were all covered in wax, they were all stuck in and I need to work out which reed goes where and then let's hopefully see if we can fix it. So this video is to be continued, uh, thanks so much for watching, uh, I'll see you in part two of how to repair an accordion. Cheers, thanks very much, bye bye.